Hello everybody, welcome back. It is time for DD169, Daily Dictation 169. If this is your first daily dictation, you don't have to start at the beginning. You can start right now, right here, right today. Now, DD169 will be about, it, it's part one of a two-part lesson. And it's just an introduction of a young boy. It's about a young boy. So you can think of this lesson and try and make an introduction for yourself when you were young. But I'll give you more information later. First, we need to go back to DD-168 and the dictation you guys did a great job. And why was it funny? Most of you understood. Let's listen again. Be sure to watch season two of Enter the Dojo starting Tuesday, October 9th, 2012. You never know what might happen. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the answers. Be sure to watch Season 2 of Enter the Dojo, starting Tuesday, October 9th, 2012. You never know what might happen. Okay, be sure to. Now, when we talk about the word to, you have to remember there are many different pronunciations. I tell my students there are seven. There's, uh, uh, of course, a, a two, but da, ta, da, ta, d, t, and of course, two or two, okay? Now, most Americans will use the short version. So once again, da, ta, da, Ta, d, t, d, t. And that's what we have here. Be sure to watch. Be sure to. Be sure to. D, d. It's actually a d sound. So, d, d. Be sure to. Be sure to. Be sure to watch. Be sure to. Instead, we can say make sure to watch. Ensure that you watch. Ensure that you watch. Make sure to watch. Make sure you watch. And be sure to watch. So three possibilities. Number one, be sure to watch. Number two, make sure you watch. Number three, ensure that you watch. Same thing. Do something. Absolutely do it. Be sure to watch season two. Ah, the second season of, or season two of, and I should add quotations here, Enter the Dojo. So, Enter the Dojo is the name of a program. Be sure to watch it, okay? Enter the do Dojo. Enter means go inside the dojo. What is a dojo? Dojo is... I believe it's Japanese, and it's the place where you learn martial arts, like karate, or taekwondo, or jujitsu, or ameridote. Okay, so if you learn martial arts, then you learn in a dojo. That's the Japanese word. So be sure to watch Enter the Dojo. Starting, when does it begin? Starting Tuesday, October 9th. Th. Now, when we write it, we don't need to write TH, but when we say it, we need to use TH. October 9th, 2012. October 9th, 2012. And then the woman, she says, You never know 
You never know what might happen. You never know what might happen. Something amazing might happen. Something unbelievable may occur. You never know. Maybe it's possible. So, when she says this, what is she doing? She's standing there and, and he's standing here and or is it the other way? And and she she grabs his hand. She she touches his hand. She grabs his hand. Okay? She says, You never know what might happen. And he's like Ugh. And he he raises both of their hands in victory, like they're the winners. And that's what's funny. Because, as you know, when she says this, what does she think will happen? What does she think will happen? She's thinking, maybe, perhaps, hopefully, some romance. She likes him. She likes the guy. And she's thinking, you never know what might happen. They'll be romantically involved. Maybe they'll get married and have little children. Oh! But the guy is clueless. Oh, this is a great word. Clueless. Can we see down here? Yeah, I think we can. Clueless. Clueless. And Mata Head said, doesn't have a clue. The guy doesn't have a clue. The guy is clueless. What does that mean? It just means he has no idea what she's talking about. He's clueless. He doesn't understand what she means. What does she mean? She means romance. But the guy, he's not that smart. His IQ is I think kind of low, maybe 80, 85 IQ, I don't know. Not that smart. But she likes him. She thinks, oh, he's so great, and he's so tough, and he's such a man. And he's like, yeah, yeah, taekwondo, or, uh, yeah. He's like a caveman, a Neanderthal. But she likes him. And because... He is clueless. That's what makes it funny. Now, if he understood, if he had a clue, then when she grabbed his hand, he'd be like, You never know. <laughs> but he doesn't. He takes her hand and raises it in a victory because he's clueless. I don't know. I thought it was funny. Sometimes I am clueless. Actually, many times I am clueless, and that causes a problem sometimes. So I, I try to be more intelligent, more alert, more aware of what is happening. Anyway, I hope that you found it funny. Uh, now, we're going to watch it again, and, and you should hopefully be able to understand. And watch the original video, and if you like this type of comedy, I encourage you to watch Enter the Dojo, Season 1 and Season 2. Let's say it together. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Be sure to watch Season 2 of Enter the Dojo, starting Tuesday, October 9th, 2012. You never know what might happen. Yeah! Victory! Yeah. Listen two more times. Be sure to watch season two of Enter the Dojo starting Tuesday, October 9th, 2012. You never know what might happen. Be sure to watch season two of Enter the Dojo starting Tuesday, October 9th. 2012. You never know what might happen.
Now you guys are all studying English and some of you are doing great, some of you are beginners, but we're, we're all studying. And I know that many of you not only study English, but you study other languages too. So my first question is, what is your native language and what other languages can you speak and what other languages are you studying? So for me, my native language is English and I can speak Korean. I'm not perfect. I make lots of mistakes, but I can speak Korean. And right now, I do not study other languages, but I'm interested in ancient languages. So maybe I should begin with Hebrew or Arabic and then Aramaic and eventually I would like to speak Sumerian. But that's me. So what about you? What languages, what is your native language? What is your mother tongue, your native languages? What other languages can you communicate in? And what other languages are you studying? So, somebody who knows many languages is called a polyglot. Poly, P-O-L-Y, means many, and glot means tongue, or many tongues, many languages. So, are you a polyglot? I am not a polyglot. But I always wonder, if I had the opportunity when I was young to study other languages, I think maybe I could have been a polyglot. Maybe it's not too late. I should start studying another language. Hmm. So, somebody who speaks eight, nine, ten languages is called a hyper polyglot. And hyper means super, a super polyglot. And for the next two daily dictations, I have a young boy from New York City who is a hyper polyglot. Today is part one and you have to dictate his uh, basically an introduction of who he is. It's pretty simple. So my second question is after you do the dictation, after you see the pattern, make the same pattern for yourself. And if you're old like me, or older than me, think back to when you were 16 years old. When you were 16 years old, what sorts of things did you do? And write a sentence and use the same pattern as your dictation, okay? So daily dictation 169 is not that difficult, but it's a little bit long. I think it's 25 words. I want you to do the dictation, and then I want you to make your own introduction. No more than 25 words. Try to keep it short, okay? So best wishes on DD169. And again, thank you to everybody for signing up and becoming a member of Daily Dictation. Please continue to share my videos. You can share it on Facebook and Orkut and VK.com, all of the wonderful uh, internet sites out there. And also, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please do so. My Twitter ID is Coach Shane. I'm also on Hallo, and my ID is Coach Shane. And I send pictures to with Instagram. I forget my ID. I think it's English Coach Shane. I think that's what it is. But if you follow me on Twitter, you can get all of that information. So thanks again, everybody, and I'll see you 
probably tomorrow night with DD170. Take care. Bye-bye. Amid the bustle of Manhattan, Tim Donor blends in like any other teenager. His time spent skateboarding, watching movies, and keeping his iPod playlist up to date. Amid the bustle of Manhattan, Tim Donor blends in like any other teenager. His time spent skateboarding, watching movies, and keeping his iPod playlist up to date. Amid the bustle of Manhattan, Tim Donor blends in like any other teenager. His time spent skateboarding, watching movies, and keeping his iPod playlist up to date. Amid the bustle of Manhattan, Tim Donor blends in like any other teenager. His time spent skateboarding, watching movies, and keeping his iPod playlist up to date. This class was approved by T. Oh, I'm T.